For month three, I recommend the same type of breastfeeding schedule that we've been on from the beginning. The idea to this schedule is that your baby is awake and consuming most of the food they need during the day. It's that you really keep track of when your baby's eating, not allowing your baby to go too long between feeds. When you continue to do this, you will find your baby dropping some of those nighttime feeds or going much longer stints at night. It has worked for me now for five babies. It's even starting to work for me now for little Gracie. So with all that said, let me quickly pop up the schedule again with the caveat that the last feed, that two to three a.m. feed might be taking place significantly later for many babies, which I hope it is doing for you. 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 7 p.m., 10 p.m., this is also called the top off feed, and 2 to 3 a.m. or when your baby wakes up. Again, there are babies at this stage that will go five, six, it's even been said seven hours, although I do find that very, very long. So if that's the case, you'll be doing a much earlier morning feed and you can just adjust the schedule accordingly. Try to pump after every feed for just five to 10 minutes to stimulate your milk production. If you can't do it after every feed, try to do it after the early morning feed and your second feed, because at those feeds you likely will have a lot of milk. And try to also do it in the late afternoon because at this point you likely have less milk. So pumping is a really great way to stimulate your milk production. Mm -hmm.